This is BBC News with the latest headlines for viewers in the UK and around the world. Teachers' unions in England will meet government scientific advisers today to seek assurances that it will be safe to open schools in England to more children from next month. One academy founder calls opposition rather middle class. For some children, they've had digital access and they're safe and they're sound and they're being well fed uh, through the lockdown. That's not true for many of the kids and the children in our school. In Wales, we'll get more details from the First Minister, Mark Drakeford, later on how the country might come out of lockdown. Europe's biggest economy, Germany, has shrunk by more than 2% in the first quarter of the year as a result of the coronavirus pandemic, putting the country technically into recession. The World Health Organization says up to a quarter of a billion people in Africa could catch coronavirus this year, but says the outbreak is likely to be less deadly than in Europe and the US. Cafes and restaurants have begun reopening in many parts of Australia, but with limits on the number of customers allowed in. Calls for NHS workers in the UK who've treated coronavirus patients to get the same mental health support as soldiers returning from war. It'll be like having you know, 15, 20 patients who are really you know, on the edge, who are going to die in the next few hours if you don't do anything every 12 hours. Hello and welcome to audiences in the UK and around the world. We're covering all of the latest coronavirus developments here in Britain and globally. Here, unions representing teachers and school staff will meet the government's top scientific advisers today as they demand reassurance over the safety of opening schools in England next month. Some teachers have expressed concern that social distancing will be difficult to implement and have questioned whether staff should be given PPE, personal protective equipment. A roadmap.